Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Grab your cup. Let's get settled in. I uh, can't believe it's been a whole week since it's been a coffee with Colby. <laughs> I've been drinking lots of coffee. So uh, make sure you get your cup. We're going to settle in and we're going to talk about balance in relationships because it's definitely something that we all encounter and deal with and kind of struggle with, I believe, at times. Hi, Katie. Hi, Jacqueline. Good morning, everybody. I'm waiting for everyone to come in. Hi, Faith. Hello, honey. How are you? Hi, Ivana. Good morning. Hi. God, that's good coffee. <laughs> Grab your cup. Um. So... Hi, Pumpkin. Hi, everybody. Hi, what, William, did you leave me a review yet? Come on, buddy. <laughs> chop, chop. Hi, Connie. Hello, everybody. So let us talk about balance in relationships, right? Because a lot of us tend to be the empath, the caretaker, the nurturer. And when you are, it's amazing because you're there for other people and you're helping and you're kind of noticing when someone needs a little something special, a little something extra. But what happens is there will be relationships and, and people will take advantage of that. That may not be a conscious thing at all. It literally may be, well, they've got this covered, right? And so for us, it's really a matter of using our voice. If you are that empath, that nurturer, that motherer, the one who keeps putting yourself out there, the one who keeps kind of getting things done, who keeps showing up, and you don't feel that it's reciprocated, it's also your responsibility to speak up, to kind of say, hey, I need this. Sometimes people think you've got it all together when really we need a little extra help, but we're not saying it. And you're going to have those relationships where people are going to take advantage. I mean, give me some hearts if you have anyone in your life that has taken advantage of your generosity, of your kindness, assuming you'll just be there, assuming you'll just take care of it. If they wait long enough, you'll just do it, right? <laughs> That's it. I want to see that. That's right. I'm seeing that like crazy because it's true. The more, sometimes the more you give, the more someone takes. And so it's up to us to say, hey, no more. You know, um, make sure those relationships are reciprocated. Because if they're not, you're going to get drained. You're going to feel depleted. You're going to feel less than. And that really has to do with, you know, people uh, kind of like leeches. <laughs> right? They're leeches. Um, and, and you may love them and you may care for them, but they're still leeches on you. And so in order for us to have a healthy life and a, a healthy experience here, we, we have to kind of stand up and be willing to make those people upset, be willing to offend them with saying, listen, you need to take care of this. Or if we're going to still be friends or we're still going to have this relationship or whatever the case may be, I need this from you. I need it to be a little bit more of an effort on your part. And when you do that, you're going to find out, you know, is that really a true relationship, a true friend, a true partner, even in your work situation, just because you work for someone doesn't mean you can't request certain things and ask for a balance within that workplace, right? If all the workload's always on you, don't be afraid to say, hey, this is too much. I can't do this. Like, I need help with this. They keep giving it to you because you're the one who gets it right. You know what I mean? They keep giving it to you because you're the one who gets it done. And if you are that person, don't be less than. Don't do a crappy job. But still do your good job. But say, to, you know, hey, this isn't fair. You know, I need this from someone else. 
you know, it happens all the time. It happens so much where, you know, the organized person or the responsible person tends to be dumped on, right? Everyone just assumes they're going to be there. And so people don't tend to step up. So look at your life and ask yourself, if you're the one not stepping up, how can you step up? What can you do in those relationships? But if it's happening to you and it's happening more than once by the same person, then say something, then do something. Having the balance in the relationships is so imperative to your own health, like your physical health, your mental health, your spiritual health. No sense in getting yourself so drained. Thank you, Jeffrey. Oh, Jeffrey ordered the book. Make sure you leave a review. <laughs> um, you know, and it is about that. You know, we, we just tend to forget that relationships are not one-sided. And they don't have to be just the way you had them, status quo. They can be enriching. They can be of value. They can be helping one another out. You know, it, they don't have to be exactly like you. But your strengths, their weaknesses, vice versa, can create a strong bond if, if that communication is open. So Kelly's in the middle of dinner. Yay. So, you know, the thing is, is, um, it is just this thing where we, we let people take advantage of us or we're afraid to say something or, or people will keep pushing you past your breaking point or people will project. Oh my goodness. It goes on and on and on. The bosses. Exactly, William. The boss. How many times does your boss want to drive you crazy? Because your boss thinks that they pay you, that they own you. And that's just not how it works. So they're paying for a service. And what is that service? And what do you need to do to communicate a balance in services rendered? Right? So... Looking at your life, I do believe it's about the communication. If someone's not treating you right, or it doesn't feel fair, or you walk away from something feeling a little depleted, feeling a little like slumped shoulders, then reach out and, and say something, do something. And it doesn't have to be aggressive, and it doesn't have to be rude. It just has to be in alignment of honoring yourself, honoring who you are, honoring where you're going. So hi, Nicole. Hi, Vincent. So allow yourself that opportunity to love yourself. So, you know, whether this is maybe with your kids, you know, thank you, Vincent. Maybe this is with your kids, you know, kids, kids are notorious for being low energy vampires, <laughs> even the ones in their twenties and thirties. So, you know, if your kid is taking advantage, your boss, your spouse, your friend, your acquaintances, your co-workers, uh, any of the such. You know who doesn't take advantage? Pets. You ever notice that? Pets don't. Pets are not manipulative. Well, they may manipulate when they want a goodie. They, might, they, they, they can be, but they'll use that cute little manipulation, right? Nothing devious. Um, but we have to find this way of honoring ourselves and not being afraid to do that. You know, if someone leaves your life or leaves that friendship because they're upset about something you said, there really wasn't a true friendship there anyway, right? There wasn't because we we should be able to talk it out, to communicate. We should be able to tell someone our needs, wants, and desires without being rejected. So if you are in a relationship, any relationship, and it isn't that way, then maybe it's time to let go of that relationship and call in ones of the highest good, call in ones that your soul deserves. So, and there you go. And yeah, exactly, Jacqueline. And it's tough, you guys. I know this is tough, but the more you do it, the easier it becomes. The more you use your voice, it becomes a lot easier. And, uh, and that's it. That's your... That is your coffee with Colby for today. So a couple things. The book. I got the book. I love it. 
Thank you guys. I see the reviews coming in on Amazon. Listen, I appreciate it. I know that takes an extra minute and I know you're like, oh my goodness, I just read it. Give me a moment. But you know, the quicker you put it on the Amazon for me, the more, the more it just helps. So I, I do appreciate all you doing that. I really do. And, and it's nice. I love that people think it's a good book. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you. And this Thursday night is Vino and Voices with my friend, gal pal, Jennifer Schaefer. It's going to be amazing. We're going to take questions and callers on air. And uh, it's going to be fabulous. You are absolutely right, Cece. Some people will never get over it. So lots of things going on. Next week, oh my God, next week I will be in Lilydale. Lilydale, if you can get there. It's one hour south of Buffalo. Two workshops in one day and it's on a Saturday. So you can jet off, get a weekend getaway, hang out with me on Saturday. Enjoy the services there. It's their last weekend open, your last hurrah. We're going to have a blast. So grab your tickets, get them online and join me. And... Lots of love. I'm heading to Chicago in September. So for all you Chicago peeps, sign up for the workshop. If you don't know how, send me a message. I'll send you the link. Can't wait, everybody. I want you to remember to shine your light and shine it bright. And I will talk to you guys later. Feel free to share. Sharing's caring. And lots of love to you. Mwah! Bye, everybody. Thank you, Meredith. Thank you. Share, everybody. Lots of love. See you later.